Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld. So, we were in the process of getting rid of this massive infestation of bugs that happens in our base. Uh, how wonderful. Hmm, who's in terrible mood? Jester. I think what I, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Mitch here. Actually, I've noticed Doc has been pretty, like his, uh, let's see here. The frag grenades haven't really been helping at all, I've noticed. Because the bugs are so quick that they just walk through any ones anyways. Alright, I'm going to have Jester head down somewhere just because he's he's close to snapping and that's the last thing I want in this situation is having someone go on a rampage. Oh shit, it looks like a bunch just birthed from the pods or whatever. Oh man. Yeah, it's going to be tough trying to actually keep up with all the ones that are coming out. <laughs> that accuracy though. And by accuracy I mean the lack thereof. Oh man. Yeah, I really need to try to I guess nip this in the bud. Because <clears throat> if I can't keep up with this, they're just gonna keep spawning, I think. Like if I don't try to take them out completely right now, they're just gonna keep coming back. bad we have such inaccurate weapons. That makes this a lot more difficult. Yeah, fortunately, they seem to like not... Th th they, have, uh, they have trouble figuring out whether they want to leave the hive or if they want to defend themselves. So it causes them to just kind of be crazy and move around like idiots. Well, it seems like these things aren't Hostile, actually. I'm gonna kill him anyways, though. Really? Okay, they're coming after us now. Yeah, and these ones seem to be really, like, like they don't even care about leaving the hive. They're completely fine with just throwing their lives away. <laughs> Okay, Grim, please. God damn it, Grim. Things are looking quite grim. <laughs> uh, these turrets, though. Yeah, it's too bad. I, I don't know. I wish I would have a, a couple more, because that would make this a lot easier. Oh, man, everyone's in a bad mood. Ugh. Just, okay, the other two are about to have a soft break, which isn't quite as bad, although it is pretty bad still. Huh. I think at the very least, okay, what I'm going to try is I'm going to try to take these two nests out. So Doc, I'm going to have him actually grab these frags. Because I think that'll make destroying the nests a much more easy process. Okay. Yeah, at the very least, uh, I don't know though, because that's the thing is that the room's obviously very... Uh, there's some pretty important things. Okay, fire. Actually, no, that's a terrible idea. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to have these two finish these things off. can go back and do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> this is going to take a while, I feel. Alright. <laughs> At least we'll, I'll, I should hopefully have one of these taken care of by the end of the night. 
you're freaking hitting the generator more than you're hitting this hive that is literally like point blank in front of you. Oh, he's not even firing. Derp. <laughs> this accuracy though. Like one out of every 20 shots. Oh shit, it actually does say when they're reproducing. Oh man. This one takes longer. This one's supposed to reproduce like right now. Okay, I think we should get it, hopefully. Unless they can literally... Okay, good, we got it. Alright, everyone, I think, needs a night of rest. We're probably going to have to deal with a lot more of these guys in the morning. Okay, I don't know why, but it always says they're no longer capable of walking the second that they are capable of walking. <laughs> For whatever reason. Okay, Doc, you got... You got some stuff to do, bud. I'll treat him because then he can at least help treating the others. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Yeah, everyone's still sick with the stupid morning, not morning sickness, sleeping sickness crap. So I've got to let them deal with that as well. 8.5. How long is this one? Okay, that one's going to reproduce really soon. I'm going to have a shit ton of this insect jelly, so I guess that's nice. Oh, f shit, they already... Oh, so it actually makes a whole other hive. It didn't actually make new things, it makes a whole other hive. I'm going to try to wake someone, everyone up, because I think they need to, like eat and stuff. <laughs> Derp. Okay, no. No. <laughs> you know what? Let's nip this in the... Yeah, let's just try doing this right now. Actually, you grab something else, please. Can I not see? Alright, let's try dealing with this. And at least these three are the... They seem to be the most mentally stable of my colonists. Jester and Carlota, yeah. The other two... If, if those two break, it, it won't matter. It won't affect this. At least I shouldn't. Jesus, look at this accuracy. Look at how long it takes them. Okay, I think he's... yeah, he's confused. Yeah, the daylight seems to really mess them up. Or it's just the range from their hive, I think. There we go. Yeah, let's actually do slow motion, because I need to be a bit more delicate about this, I think. Oh yeah, Grim. Oh yeah, he got taken down. Where's his weapon then? Wasn't his weapon like... Oh yeah, I think it's way over here. Yep. <laughs> Derp. I wasn't... Wasn't taking the fact that he didn't have a freaking weapon into account. Actually, yeah, him too. No wonder we're not doing any damage. <laughs> there are two people that are actually kind of decent with guns aren't even in the battle. Oh, of course! A freaking <laughs> wild hog rampage. As if we didn't have enough animals going mad. Well, insects, I suppose. But still. Shit. Four now. This still can't even aim. Oh my god.
stupid hogs. At least we'll have some hog food, I suppose. Yeah, because we are running out of food, so at least these hogs will give us some meat. Oh yeah, I opened that up because I was going to repair that, but the goddamn... Ah. Actually, the one thing that's a... Actually, ah, now that I think about it, this wall is actually not the best idea, and the reason why it's not the best idea is because... Think about it. If there's hostiles in this area, if I have turrets here, they can ha help out, but... If this wall's here, they obviously can't. Hmm. That gives me another dilemma. Oh, wow, he actually hit something. <laughs> I was kind of sick of just watching them miss everything. They're also... I don't know if they're... I wonder if they're butchering those things or what. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Oops. Oh, and what is Elvira doing with us? She's kind of useless. And she she needs to be in bed. Yeah, Jester is the only other one who can help out, but he's kind of... He's not exactly the most stable of individuals. <laughs> At least this is taking a little less work. Just a little. It's actually, oh never mind, I was going to say that's the last of the big ones, but no, there's still that one. Grim, please hurry. You fucker. Ooh, that one's getting really feisty. You know what? Screw these guys. I'm gonna let. I'm not even gonna give these guys any sort of. Well, I guess that this is giving them mercy. Actually, no. It takes so many shots. I'm not even gonna waste the time because I really don't have that much time if you think about it. One day. Okay, we've got plenty of time. I hope. destroyed the <laughs> smelter. They have such bad aim. They, I feel like if I would have aimed at the smelter, they might have had a better chance of hitting it. Oh, no. Run! What are you doing? No. Vera. Oh my god. I've been letting them run around just because if I make them, if I can find them to a particular space. Okay, seriously? If I can find them to a particular space, I know they're just going to go crazy, but apparently they all really want to get in the middle of this war zone. Okay. There's only one left, guys. We've got this. Jester. I like how Jester's not even involved in this and he's still the he's still breaking down mentally. He's truly the new weakest link of our group. No Mitch, run Mitch, run. Run Mitch, run! Run Mitch, run! Oh, for some reason that's his the limit of his range. He's not willing to go over that little thing of rock. Who the hell's my hunter and why does he lack a weapon? 
Probably Jester. The crazy bastard. Okay, let's just focus on the hive. <laughs> Admittedly, the stuff inside is actually really weak. Actually, these hives are really strong. Come on. You've almost got it. Thank you. Damn it, Mitch, why are you always lagging behind like that? Seriously, he's always, like, he always takes a couple seconds to just stand there and let himself get killed. Jesus, thank you. Okay, one more left, guys. <sighs> They're in such terrible moods. Okay, you know what? I'm going to let these guys go. No, never mind. Who, okay, who's in the least of the terrible mood? Doc, Charlotta. Okay, Grim. Grim and Mitch. No, 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 not Mitch. Mitch is shit. Uh, Grim and Tildema are fine. Yeah, I'm going to keep them. Take out this final hive. So let me see. I wonder if meleeing it is more effective. Well, I mean, it's more consistent. At the very least. Oh, man. Finally, we got them taken care of. Jeez. <laughs> well, that was fun, wasn't it? No, not really. Well, I mean, I guess a bonus is I have access to this area now. Uh, gonna have to a lot of spend a lot of time and resources getting everything taken care of, but I wonder where they they were hauling those corpses, anyways. Because I don't think we can I don't think we can butcher these things. At least not easily. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna add something else because, well, for one, these things are starting to not be very useful because of the lack of wood, and well, that's about it. To be honest, they're not as useful as they once were. I'm gonna place two of these bad boys down. Yeah, because that thing's gonna take so many resources right there that I don't really wanna have to worry about it right now. Damn it, Mitch. And we just went through so much and you had to snap, didn't you? Oh, yeah. The hell is everyone? Hauling Jan. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> everyone who's inept is... All the inept people are the only ones nearby enough to help. Great. <laughs> uh, I mean, by the time they get here, this battle is going to be over. And Mitch took him out. Hopefully Doc's got enough in him to take a, the rest off of Mitch. Thank you. Oh man, if it's not one thing in this game, it's another. Christ. <laughs> Ugh. I keep wanting to, like, as you can see while I'm playing, I keep wanting to expand. I keep wanting to do a lot of things that are necessary for my colony to survive. But it's like, 
every time I do, something goes wrong. And I realize, yeah, that's kind of the point of this game, but it's like, this is, there's, there's been worse ha things happening to me, I think, in this run than any time I've ever played this game before. Like, I'm not shitting you. Like, this run has probably been the least fortuitous of any run I've ever done. Like, not only in the colonists, but just everything. Like, diseases, just everything has not been going well. Oh, our freaking two doctors are, yeah. We're already out of all our medicine. Okay, Mitch is taking care of Jester. <sighs> Jester and Mitch. Jesus, they literally just got out of their stupid thing and they're freaking crazy already. I need to go ahead and cut this crap. Well, oh. this, 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 this. That should be good then. Apparently, Grim's throwing a party. I think we need it though, so yeah fine with me to be honest okay speaking of which we need to start <laughs> uh, how did I have this okay yeah this was a complete wall right here and so is this we don't want to hold these open any longer that was a wall <sighs> Let me guess. Fucking what the hell, Carlotta? Why were you? She wasn't. Even, she hasn't even been having problems, but apparently she just could not. Could not handle. She couldn't handle no. <laughs> no aggression. She's still freaking naked too. Crazy. Bitch. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't know. I'm just getting pissed. Like literally, I can't even move five feet. It seems like I can't. I can't progress time for more than a minute without someone going insane. It feels like. <sighs> Cry. Crikey. <laughs> There's so much blood everywhere just from this stupid nonsense. We have a shit ton of granite now. Oh no. Okay. We can actually take apart those insects, so we're gonna have a pretty decent amount of food, I suppose. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk to those guys. Admittedly, we've been a bit preoccupied, I'd say. Carlotta and Jester, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I noticed my the amount of swearing I've done has has I think proportionally gone up with my progress within the game. How's he? Apparently she's a nudist now. I didn't remember her ever being a nudist, but apparently she is. And another freaking turret. Why are these turrets just not working now? Normally people would help out with that, but everyone's just in such terrible shape. They're not even putting anything. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, they're not even bothering trying to repair. Even though that is, you know, pretty high priority. How is every how is there even such a thing as an idle colonist when there's things to repair and everyone's even got their repair skill but somehow no one's even just I don't get this I do not get this okay 
There's fire foam. <sighs> Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna not do that. We need to rebuild, I think, is number one priority. And we need some steel as well, don't we? Let's continue our little mining endeavor over here. Oh, these are actually working too. Sweet. Yeah, that stuff needs wood, is the problem. Honestly, we just need... I just need my freaking colonists to do stuff for once. Instead of being sick. Are they almost done with this sleeping sickness? 62%. 86%. 60%. So Elvira is almost okay, but everyone else not so much. Alright, at least everyone is uh, not going crazy. I guess that's a bonus. Yeah, okay, we're starting to actually finish up this, stupid. Yeah, it seems like that wasn't supposed to be there. Wow. Actually, I'm not even gonna... Hmm. It's kind of a weakness, isn't it? Oh yeah, I can deconstruct these for a very nice amount of steel, can't I? There we go. That'll be nice. And actually, you know what I can do? I can finally move our little stockpile in here. Alright, misc. Put one here. One here. And I'm just going to get rid of this thing entirely. Good. Stuff should actually start looking, looking pretty now, too, now that we don't have this massive pile of junk here. Not too much, but it should make a difference. There we go. Finally, things are not... For, for once, we have a bit of a break. Of course, now that I'm saying that, something's going to go horribly wrong, isn't it? Oh, yeah, we weren't even able to take care of the wild boars because... Or we weren't even able to use the wild boars, I should say. Yeah, I can get rid of that stuff. Components. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of running out of those, aren't we? My colonists are just kind of being idiots about taking care of the, or, I don't know, getting components. Oh yeah, that was something else I was wondering. Actually, I do want a light in here. I wonder if lights have, like, I wonder if there's anything you can do to prevent those. Actually, no, the hive did start in our generator room, so I don't think light has anything to do with, I was thinking maybe if we had, like, a well-lit environment, like these rooms, that maybe they won't spawn in them, but, I mean... This is a well-lit environment. Oh, I know what I never noticed? This room is extremely hot. I guess it doesn't really matter because we never send anyone in there, but... That generates a lot of heat. We have a lot of steel, though. That should really help us out. And actually, oh, never mind. I was going to say I can finally build this thing, but we don't have... I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we have enough components to really do anything about that. Yeah, too bad I didn't go in here earlier, but really, I was just being careful, and you can't really do anything against... I mean, I don't know, I, you can never really be too careful in this game. 
I think we should start filling this in too, just because, I mean, admittedly, I don't think anyone's going to decide to go all the way around, but I want it to be a little bit better looking at the very least. Yeah, actually, let me find if there's any ship parts just hanging around. Yeah, there's a bunch of components over here still that no one's done anything about. You know what I think I should do, actually? I'm going to do this. I'm going to... Let me find... Okay, what's, what's something we need to do? We absolutely need at least one cook. So I'm going to have... Oh, yeah, and we have so many... We have so few people that can actually haul. I'm going to just have a hauling day. Because there's so much junk we need to just move. So I'm just going to make a day for hauling. Because that, in the long run, it'll make it so that they're like not idiots and they try to get stuff from over here for construction. So in the long run, this will really help us out. Actually, you know what I've been not doing? You know what I haven't been doing? I haven't been cooling this room, and that's just because we don't have enough food. Or we haven't had enough food, I should say to really make it and while well, we also have been struggling with energy of course so I'm gonna put in one of these so we can actually have some refrigerated food oh yeah and we need a lot of components for that though too don't we Uh, I'm hoping that this I bet the second these guys get healed up the second these guys finally gain Okay, she's very close to having gained immunity <clears throat> I feel like the second these guys gain immunity. They're gonna go crazy again. Oh He's actually gotten rid of the mechanites finally. It took a long long time So now she's the only one, only one with mechanites so yeah, Grim has been a. I've noticed. Yeah, Grim has been a very happy guy. Admittedly, he has that got married bonus, but other than that, he's had a very. He's been very cooperative lately. As well as Jester, Jester has been doing pretty well as. As well. Yeah, he's still got pain, of course. Honestly, actually, the only thing I think keeping him not from going crazy is the attended party, which is kind of sad that. The only thing keeping him going in life is having attended a party a couple days ago. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. So thank you all for watching and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.